Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial on vectors in R. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about um, finding sum and product of vector elements. Uh, so for that, let's create a vector x. And uh, to find the sum of uh, the elements of uh, a vector, we use the sum function. So let's see how much is the sum of the elements of vector in x. Uh, so the sum is 88 here. Uh, we can use a com sum function uh, to calculate the cumulative sum of the elements in a vector. So in this case for vector x, um, here the uh, elements are added cumulatively. And we can also, uh, also calculate mean, uh, mean of the vector x if we know the sum. Uh, uh, so when sum is divided by length of the vector x, uh, we can get the mean of uh, vector x. So let us see how much it is. So the mean is 12.57143. We can also calculate mean by using a mean function. Uh, uh, so the mean in this case is also 12.57143 of course. And we can use the ST function to calculate the standard deviation of the elements in vector x. And also we can use the median function uh, to calculate the median uh, of um, different elements in vector x. And better, we can use um, the summary function um, to see what are the basic statistical parameters uh, of vector x. Uh, so you can see here, the summary function gave us the minimum value, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and maximum value uh, in vector x. Similarly, uh, we can use a, a prod function to calculate the product of different elements in uh, vector x. So let's do that, okay. And um, uh, we can use the comprod function to calculate the cumulative product of different elements in vector x. Okay, so that's all for uh, finding the sum and product of elements in any vector. Thank you very much for watching and um, uh, I hope to see you guys in next video.